All right, you guys, welcome back. My name is Eb Friday. Thank you for joining me. And today I'm going to show you guys how to change the color of an object in DaVinci Resolve. So this was inspired by a Honda commercial that I, I wanted to mimic. And uh, it got me thinking on how I can change this blue car into this car. First, I'm going to go through how we change colors, and then I'm gonna to try to match the color of this car to my footage. First things first, what we wanna do is, we are dealing with red footage. I'm working on the color science IPP2, uh, red wide gamut, and log 3G10. If you have red footage, you can feel free to follow along. Uh, once we have that all set up, I'm going to use my Vision 6 LUTs for red and we're going to add two nodes, one, two. On the last node, we're going to add my Kodak 5203 LUT and it's looking pretty nice. Let's go to our first node and we're going to white balance this footage. I'm just going to click on this white line here. Okay, so we're pretty white balanced. I'm going to add another node, just add some contrast and see how far we can push and pull this image. So I'm just going to add some contrast, play with the pivot, let's bring up the shadows a little bit. That looks pretty nice. First things first, what we want to do is we want to select the blue car and that way we can manipulate the colors. So I'm going to add a new node. And we're going to go to our qualifier. And what we want to do is we want to click on our qualifier. We want to make sure that this color picker is selected. And we're just going to click on the car. As you can see, nothing happens. So what we want to do is we want to scroll to the top. And we want to select the highlight button. And that's going to show us exactly what's being selected. So everything that's grayed out is not being selected and obviously the blue color is selected. So if I click over here, you'll see that this color, this red is selected. If I click on the greens, you'll see that the greens are selected. But we want to click on the car. So let's click on the car and try to get a good selection. We're going to come down to the hue, saturation and luminance channels. Basically, all of these play a factor into selecting what color you'd like to select in your footage. So let's start with the hue and we'll try to move this around and really refine this blue color here. So as you see, as, as I move the center point around, it's excluding or it's adding different colors. So let's try to move it around until we can select as much. Let's go to the width and this will really close in and hone in on the color that you want. So if I go all the way to the right, you can see it's it's selected the whole car, but it's also selecting the greens. So let's pull it back until the greens are gone. And then we can play with the soft slider, which kind of like feathers it out. Okay, now let's move on to our saturation. And as you see, if, 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 when I turn this up, it's all gone. When I bring it down, so you want to, you basically want to experiment and just push these sliders around until just the blue color is selected. So I kind of like it there. Let's go to the high, and that's not doing much. See the soft. Okay. Now let's go to our luminance, which is the brightness and darkness. And we're just gonna move the low around. Okay, that looks cool. This is the best that we can do. So what we also can do is we can use a power window to really go back in and refine uh, this blue car. So let's go to our power window. Let's select the circular power window. And we'll, we'll just put the circular power window over the car so that only the car will be selected. 
and we can really push these sliders to select this blue car. Okay, now once we have it over the car, let's go to our tracker panel and let's just track this footage so the window stays over the car. Okay, now that we have this tracked, you can see that the window stays over the car and everything looks good. Now that we have just the car selected, let's go back to our qualifier channel and let's just try to refine this some more. And I'm just gonna quickly push and pull these sliders again. And as you can see, just the car is being selected. Nothing else comes through this power window. Okay, so this is basically the best that we can do. Now we want to look over to the right, and here we can really refine what we've done. I'm going to just go to the blur radius, and we'll just blur the selection a bit so it's not so harsh. And let's see what the clean whites does. That doesn't do anything. Uh, let's see the clean blacks. Okay, so the black cleans up some of the blotchy parts. Yeah, and I think that, that looks pretty good. So now what we can do is we can go back to our highlight control and just turn that off. And let's just go to a part where we can see the car. Now here's the fun part. Now that we have our car color selected, let's go to our color panel. Let's go down to the hue slider and we'll just move it around. And as you can see, let's just zoom in. If you move this hue slider around, it cycles through all of the colors. And you can change the color to any color you like. Really like this green color right here. It's pretty cool. You can also affect the saturation so you can make it more saturated or less saturated. You can bring up the brightness, you can drop it. So now that we know how to change the colors, let's go ahead and try to match this color from this reference still. So I'm going to pull this slider up and I'm just going to right click. We're going to grab a still and let's go back to our car footage. We'll bring it somewhere around here. And then we're going to click on our image wipe. We'll just pull this up. We'll make sure we are on our color selected node. And let's just go to our hue slider. And we're going to try to match this color. Let's see. So that's, that's pretty close right there. Let's play with the saturation a little bit. Let's check our vector scope. Just gonna see where, where the car is sitting at, where we're sitting at. Maybe add a little bit more saturation. And I think that's pretty close. So now we've completely changed the color of the car to match our reference still. Even though this color looks good, I like this color better. And we were able to do this using the qualifier, the power window, and the tracking window. Just turn that on and off.
And this is how you change the color of an object in DaVinci Resolve. It's very easy, very simple. Thank you guys for watching. Share this video with a friend. I appreciate it. Everyone who subscribed, liked, and shared the video. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll see you guys soon.